What is going on, everybody? McLean Speech Up World Champion coming at you, and we're here back in RP Law. But also, the sim has been updated, so shouts out Batsu uh, for all the hard work and everything. Again, his Patreon is link and everything will be in the description to uh, this video if you are financially able to support him to help him be able to put in some more time and make sure everything is like stable server wise so we have covered for everything so everyone can get their downloads and everything also to get your little name in the game in the credits if uh we can do a little a quick little tour here so you go there in the credits and as you can see there's me <laughs> so you can uh jump on in here with everyone else which would be pretty cool but uh yeah jump into Law, this is what we got going on. Back, Ain is back. Look at that. Told you guys, we're jumping around. More ideas here. Uh, biggest thing, I just have two Shariah and two Blocker Law, just because uh, against Luffy, I feel like either of these is great and Bon Clay, but I just have this in here just because uh, Blocker Law is great against Green. But obviously, if you don't play against like Bonnie and stuff like that, any of the stall decks, you could definitely get rid of uh, Law boost up. Pretty much any of the cards of the, 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 your matchups. What Law kind of feels like right now is just you kind of like pick your poison. Like what uh, what matchups you want to have coverage against and what do you not. And for me right now, this is feeling pretty good. Uh, I love the five costs. Do Sanji. So Queen, Sanji, Kid, Miss All Sunday are fantastic against uh, NL, Luchi, and Luffy. Just because uh, they can't recycle stuff. And against uh, Robert. A lot harder for them to get rid of our bigger stuff especially if they don't get the stage which is very nice and against nl these cards are clutch especially if they go hand starve against you because then they can't drop like a and stuff like that to get rid of them especially sanji sanji chilling at six which is awesome and same against luffy again being able to get the card set up they can't recycle that uh ko luffy which is pretty cool but uh yeah we got back a in here I don't have Zoro, which is so we can just favor just on play combos and we still have Missile Sunday. So that kind of locks us in a little bit more into when you're going first into potentially the 8K or you can kind of bait. I guess the only other tech card that really I have is the Toy Law. I just like the Toy Law because they're, we got the reprint and I like the reprint. But if you don't like Toy Law, you can definitely buff up uh, like your Otamas and stuff like that. Again, for me, this is a pretty good ratio for power reduction, but Toy Law. Again, situational. I like him in the mirror a lot, but just depends on uh, your matchups and everything. But yeah, again, back on RP Law. Feel good, feeling great. Uh, it's yeah, fun to grind again and get in some games. All right, we got some Robert here. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this just because uh, we get a decent draw. We can make a play, so we'll go from there and see kind of what happens. Because uh, we have uh, stuff we can bring in. Ooh, okay. So we get a kid there as well. So they'll be at four. Um, I might make a risky play here, actually. Oh, we might go for some information. Because I don't think they... Let's see. I'll see if they'll risk uh, dropping anything now to get rid of Max. And then we don't have to worry about it later. Put them in a spot. Because then if they drop stage, obviously then they only can attack. So then Max is chilling. So, all right, they're attacking five on five. We get another queen, which is fine. So they drop the Khalifa. Okay. So draw two trash too. So they hit two ice ages off of the leader here. So they drop in Kaku. All right. And then we'll see, I guess, what else they decide to get rid of. All right. So if they do that, huge draw for us there. That's actually massive. Um. Okay, well, I want to make sure I clear their board to get rid of that. And so then let's drop this down. We'll go one, two, three, get rid of that. Hit our combo into everything here. Put one on, attack them for six. Either get a 2K out or drop them down one. And yeah, now we got this built up. And the reason I get in, we hit a huge draw with uh, getting another max there. And now we'll be at seven, which will allow me the luxury of being able to just use queen for sort of free. Because again, my dawn target is six. So being able to make sure we get right around six, we're gonna have that extra one. So we'll be at seven. So losing the one doesn't hurt as bad. And then we can just play around depending on what we get here. Also, to what we draw and stuff like that. 
is big as well. So they're just hard dropping Rebecca, getting a 2K back into Brook, but they don't have anything really that they can use Brook for. So they're just gonna swing seven on five. Uh, we'll take that. We get Ain, which is actually kind of nice here. Ooh, okay, and I get Law. All right, well, we can do a bunch of things. I may attack this here just to see, because we know they have the 2K, right? So I also have this, so for five, minus one leaves us two active. I need to get rid of, make sure we get rid of Brook, but we could try to bait them into some stuff here, but we also need to chip them down, because I am going to attack with Kid, because again, I feel like he's, we're gonna lose him uh, anyways, so we get the one back from that too. All right, uh, let's see. Actually, let's just swing with the uh, kid first. We'll just do six and four, see what they do. So they decide to take that, okay. So we'll drop this down, use our card action, select one to trash. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna bring in Ain here. I wanna hold on to this, these three. Guess we'll get rid of one one queen. And then, yeah, let's go one, two, three, get rid of this, bring in Ain to get one back. And then we'll put one on here, see if we draw out the a 2K. Alrighty, and then we'll put two on here. Attack him seven on five. Alright, so we get him down to three. Now our board's here. I can use Otama now for defense because we have Max and Gordon. So do not need to worry. And since we got uh, the toy law as well. So they're at eight. I haven't paid attention to the trash of the drop Moria. Again, we bottomed Rebecca so they can't do Moria Rebecca into a three, which is cool. All right. Um, well, if they're just doing that, honestly, we'll just do this. Block with queen. And so, yeah, we can play around with the stuff here. Now also too, because we have this stuff, I can get rid of Moria. So we can just use two and go from there because again no stage really helps us out they get robert here but again so all right they're dropping the sabo so they'll get rid of kid and then ain here but i can clear this if we need to and all right so they trash uh that there all right so i'm at seven we get another otama which is nice. So I have this and this. We could bring in. So I can get rid of this. There's a lot we can do here, which is pretty cool. Definitely want to get rid of this for two. At least with five. So I could just drop kid. Problem is I don't really have anyone to bring in. Off of that. Besides the uh, law here, but I'd like to hold on to law. So I might do queen instead of kid because we're again kind of up on Don. So this is five. It gives us two. All right, let's just swing five. Let's see what they do out of this. Because I may just audible it as well here. Because I kind of want to get that down back, the active down back. Because then I could swing uh, for a bunch of stuff here. Because unfortunately, this is just like barely out. Because I don't only can, we can't get it down with uh, all the stuff here. But I mean, it still is a helpful. So, all right. Let's, uh, we'll make the play. Because again, we get rid of this. And then, while well, we're holding on to both of them, we can go one, two, three. Get rid of that there. Bring in Law. Get her one back. All right. We'll swing a five on five. See what they do here. They block that. And then I'll put the one on Queen. We'll tag him seven on five, get him down to two. Okay, so pretty much it depends on, we got rid of Sabo. It depends if they have like another Moria, if they can drop right here. So normally when it gets tricky is if they're able to hit, uh, normally Moria into Sabo is way worse, but we'll see what they're able to do. Cause again, we do have Queen, I'm gonna be back to seven and then I can use a, the Otamas potentially here. It just kinda, it depends on what big card they're dropping, <laughs> like uh, for us to be able to, play around it so this is down to two so they're dropping the suru see what else they get dropped down here and then it looks like we're going into some moria town 
Uh, well, we'll just do that while we can. <laughs> so, all right, there's the Moria into Rob, into Spandam. So this is at two, this is at one. So they'll use Rob, get rid of both of these. All right. And okay, so we fight on. So I could use both of our Thomas to get clear this. Hmm. Because we could go this, this, plus this. Limits this off here, because then I'd have another blocker. Then I could just do the same stuff. All right, we'll attack them five, see what they do. And then just play around that. So we get rid of the Helm Epo there, okay. All right, um, attack and five again. So they take that, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna go queen instead. All right, I was hoping for not miss all Sunday. I was hoping to get another Gordon or Max because then I could have just cleared this. I think we just gotta, well, let me think with the math here. Because we have two, they'd have to get rid of a blocker and then I have both of these. Because I could still use our ability and bring in Chariah here. Why not? We'll go eight on five. They'd have to get rid of uh, multiple cards here. So they take that. All right, we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of this here. Bring in Shariah. All right. So we'll see. We got two blockers, two life, two two Ks, and a four. So that is why I made that play. If they don't get any blockers up, we're chilling. So they're dropping the Kaku. All right. So they get rid of Shariah, which is fine. Leaves them with five. So that's actually big, because now if they drop, like, they'd have to drop Sabo. But if they drop Sabo, then uh, we can survive the turn and we're chilling. So they hit the Spandam. All right, I think we're good. So whiffed on that. All they have is Rebecca potentially here. So they do that there. Um, so I have this, I have four. Hmm. If I just block this here, these were the four, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do that. So I can attack that. Leaves them with four. Okay. So we'll do that there. No, we'll block that. Okay, so they dropped the Borsalino. Okay. I don't know if we, if it really matters. Okay, so I'll put two on here. We'll attack them seven on five. So they take that there. All right, well, then I can just attack them five on five. And then, yeah, mathematically, I would have then attacked nine. They would have had to get rid of one and not much they could have done. I guess I could have played that a little different as well. Uh, just in case because of the Borsalino drop or the Sabo but based on once they dropped this it, it didn't really matter from how things were looking because uh, again card in hand is like another element to pay attention of and especially again against Robert I feel very good if they don't get staged so if they don't drop the stage in any of the early stages of the game you're big chilling all right we got Robert um I'm gonna keep this. We'll see how uh, we'll see how things go out of all this. I have a three cost to drop. They got the stage. All right, we might be in trouble. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So we'll drop this down. They block that, and then I'm gonna drop Shariah down like that. And that way, again, I'm gonna use Shariah to attack because uh, in this matchup, for me, it's just. All right, big that they get that there, and then, all right, they're just swinging big. Okay, probably could have blocked that, but want to get some cards here. So we got Kid and Killer. They're at five, they're at four. We have Ray. Don't really need to worry about this. We got another Max. So I may just try to rush him down here, honestly. So I don't have any ramp to bring in, which is the problem. 
So usability go down to two. We could then bring in Sanji. So that works there too. All right, let's attack them five on five. Let's see what they do here. Let's help they block that. Okay. We'll drop a uh, King Killer down. Attack him again, five on five. So they do that there, alrighty. And then we'll attack him again, six on five. And I'm gonna be very aggressive here, why not? We'll experiment, bring in Sanji. So now we gotta play, now I can set me, it sets things up to do this, but we'll just have to play around here. Again, we got him low, I'm trying to jump on it while they have low cards in hand. So we can just play around stuff there. All right, they're going six on five. That leaves them here. They're minusing this down one. Um. All right. There's nothing I could do there. So I guess we'll see if they have Kaku. All right, they do. Okay. Well, they'll get rid of Sanji, which is okay. So we get Law here. So what do I want to do out of everything? I could drop this. We can get rid of this. I'd have to bring in Ray for sure. All right, we'll put one on, attack him here. Well, that's unfortunate that they hit that. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna go hyper aggressive here. We hit him with a seven, I gotta get him down. So this is not recommended, but doing that so we can get some cards back. <laughs> but they're at eight. Not looking ideal for us on this one. But we still have uh, three life though, so I can take a hit. All right, this is actually massive that they don't have Moria. Okay, I'm fine with that. Slow things down a little bit. The drop Robert. Okay. All right, so they do that there. I'll attack him here, five on five. All righty. Um, and let's just drop this and see what happens. Pretty much just depends on if they're able to drop Moria. If they are, then not good. All right, well, they do that. Another Tempest Kick. I mean, let me get the Tempest Kick uh, off of life. Not any, okay, they got another Robert. Well, not a whole lot we can do there. But we still got a little bit of a chance here. Um, we'll take this one. Okay, minus two. Why not? We'll do that. We get one back. <laughs> so we get missile Sunday. Kind of helpful there. And then they're going nine on five. Okay, so we get Bon Clay. All right, and we get the boys. So how can we do this? I need to clear everything here. Hmm. I have to bring Law in, so we could do. I'll do one there, at least with three. So I then have to get rid of this for this to work. They have three cards. All right. Well, we'll do this here. See what they do. So they're able to block that, which is not ideal. Um, so I dropped this down to three. Okay, so we'll do this then here. Put one on, we'll attack there, all right. And then we'll do this out of there. Then we can go one, two, three. We gotta get rid of that. Bring in law, <laughs> all right. This is this is uh, going uh, not well, <laughs> but you never know. It's not over. We only have one Don, which is again against the the big no no rules here. So we'll see uh, what they can do. All right, they're playing both of those. Okay, they got Rebecca into Brook, so they they can go here. Um, I can get a seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I'm gonna do this, this, 
this and that is all we got. <laughs> well, well, we need insane, insane -o luck for this to work. How to get rid of all three of these and then hope they somehow like brick for uh, any of this. So you never know though. We'll hit them here. <laughs> Well, they take that, all right. Attack him again. And then, uh, oh, okay. Well, maybe. All right, well, yeah, nothing we could do there. That was close, though. If they wouldn't have got uh, the 2K right there, we actually would have won that. <laughs> that was a really wacky wacky game going way too, so that is like, uh, again, I'm, I'm definitely at the line. I would not recommend going that crazy but hey we almost got we almost brought it back it was almost it was close straight up uh them hitting the, the life there is what uh, what got it for him all right we got bonnie we'll see uh, what we can do here going first so we'll just kind of wail them down we do have law which is great in this matchup so they're dropping the search here all right they get that there so what can we do from here um, honestly, we're just gonna tag this, get rid of uh, everything there, and we'll call it good there. So we know they have their blocker, so they're probably gonna attack five. Yeah, and then, uh, okay, yeah, that's actually massive. We're gonna get a uh, law here, and we get Gordon. So we can do a couple different things. I'll probably just drop this, and then we have one, so I can attack them there. All right, so we'll put one on here. We'll attack them six on five. And yeah, we can play around. We can go the toy lot into the boys. Since this is only five. Okay, or they just stack that. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting them to do that. <laughs> so that works there. Um, Well, they're only here. So let's just drop uh, this then. We'll go one, two, three, two, zero. Bring the boys in anyways. And all right, so we got a blocker up. We got the boys. Again, just going wide against Bonnie is very, very good. So we'll see what they do. But need to get cards down so I can play uh, potentially. We're going to get to the sixth. So Miss All Sunday, Gordon, Ray would be ideal here. If I'm taking this one, release them with four. All right, so they have another one. Okay. Um, what do we want to do here then? So miss all Sunday. All right, we'll just leave the here. They're gonna use this, rest this, and we'll just play around. Uh, what they do? So they take that there, or well, how much? do we have so I could just drop this for four here to that but then I wouldn't be able to bring anyone in unfortunately so we'll do Gordon onto this and then let's hit this whole Sunday here then we'll go one two three gear to this so I'm at four they're at six so things will work out just well enough for us to then just straight bring in Sanji here so we attack them five and five and yeah, we got a lot of card draws. So and I can definitely use one queen as some potential defense and stuff here. But next turn, we definitely want to whale on them as much as we can. So, all right, they're blocking there because they're at eight. They're pretty, they want to stall us out here so they can then drop something big like Zoro or something. And yeah, we can just play around things there. Uh, I'm going to do this and then we'll do this and this. So that way I can make sure I can just drop Ray and get our cards. So they drop Bonnie. All right. See uh, what they do here. All right. So we draw that there. Okay. Let's drop uh, this down. We get two Bond Clays, which is crazy. So they have this. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just attack them. See what uh, happens. So they rest our other blocker, which is fine. They take the hit. Interesting. 
We'll attack them again here. So they do that. All right. We don't have a way to get rid of this, so we'll put two on here. Attack them again. Seven on five. So either get rid of two or they go down. This is like a... A lot of people go super hard to stay at three because they fear kid and killer. But, okay, so we get rid of both of those. Um... Yeah, let's just do that. We'll call it good there. See what they're able to do. The only thing that would stink right here is if they, uh, depending on what they got. So six on five. Um, hmm. You know what? We'll we'll let that one go through. Just want to see what they do. Okay, no. We'll do one bond clay. So they have ten. They drop in Doflamingo. be all I could like think of okay yeah they dropped off go okay but I mean we're still gonna be able to attack uh, a couple here so we get kid which is massive hmm because I go kid into Ray all right we'll drop kid down we'll go one two three choose zero Bring Ray in here. Get our cards. Get a Don. All right. So then we pretty much just attack this twice. Is the plan. So we'll attack six. See what they do here. And then I'm going to attack eight. Because if I can put them in hand starve, then we can not have to worry about Doflamingo as much. Because again, we got another blocker up, so. Now we can just go for some trades and stuff there. Okay, well, then I'm just gonna put the two on here. We'll attack him seven on five. So we get him down into kid and killer range, and all right. Well, we'll just see uh, what they're able to do here. This is pretty much the turn. Because we do have, I don't have that much counter. We're kind of bricked. Half, half and half here. But luckily, again, put them in a weird spot. So they're dropping the Hawkins. Okay. So it leaves them with four. I guess we'll see how they attack this. So they're going seven on five. Uh, then they'll probably attack this. I guess. Okay. I guess we'll let that go through. And then 11 on six. All right. Okay, so they're, they're going to rest this regardless here. So we'll probably attack them here. And then a bunch of... I could go Missile Sunday again. Or we probably... No, we should go Queen. And then we can bring in uh, Bond Clay potentially. All right. So let's put one on Kid. Because they're going to rest Kid anyways. That way, again, we get a 7 on 5 instead of... For just the one Don. Versus any of the other stuff here. And yeah, now we can just, uh, again, I have Kid and Killer as well. So interesting, they go for that. All right. Um, so I drop Queen for five, leaves me two. Okay, well, let me do a five then. Let's see what they do. Because if they block with this, then I'm just gonna target this. Because now we put them in a weird spot. So, all right, they do that, okay. So then I can drop queen, do that. Uh, select one to trash. I miss all Sunday here. Um, hmm. So we'll put two on here. Attack him seven on five. And, all right, they do that. So then we can go one, two, three, choose zero. Bring in Kid and Killer, put one here, attack eight on seven. All right, well, worked out for them. <laughs> they have the two. But we'll see what we can do here. Again, I got two life, we have a blocker. They would have needed a heart of the cards there. So, see what they do, nine on five. Um. Okay, probably use this attack here. 
Oh, okay, never mind. They're just loading, loading up. Uh, well, I'll just do this then. I think we're chilling. <laughs> we should be, should be okay. Pretty much same, same deal. So we'll put one on here. Attack him against seven five. This would like have to hit because they only have this and then this, and we have kid and killer. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that. All right, yeah, they uh, made a goof, but it look it wouldn't have mattered because uh, rested here. I have two more. I literally would have been able to do kind of anything since we have kid and killer. So I'll just put with them only have one card. I would have put two on. Uh, Ray attacked them because then they would uh, again sack this or take this. Uh, then we just do the same thing and based on the stuff here because I would have seven, seven, and then we bring in Kid and Killer and go for the nine. So would have worked out either way, even with them. Uh, I guess uh, never mind with them goofing, they would have had this still, so they would have had eight. So they could never mind, they could have blocked one, but we still would have been chilling because it would put the two on attack here. If they sold out with both of those, then I could have uh, then just attacked seven for the same thing, and then we're still we're still chilling, I believe. All right, we got NL. Let's see how this goes. We got a okay hand, not the and uh, this matchup. I really like uh, being able to do a bunch of the higher up cards like queen missile sunday kid sanji i think are massive in this especially if they go hand starve because then you can just drop those cards and not have to worry about them too much so i guess they're going for this though which fine with let it hit but works for us <laughs> i'd rather that at least uh, with with what we have in hand i'd much rather that than the mean of the hand starves out so we lose a bond clay though, but it is what it is. It happens. And then never mind, we draw our Sanji. So I'm just gonna attack five. See what they do here. And then we can throw in Bond Clay. And then we'll go one, two, three. We'll get rid of this. Bring in Ain as well. Gives a little flexibility options. And since we're at three, don't have to worry about Gadatsu getting rid of either of these. So now they're kind of forced to commit into attacking us. And then we can play around stuff there. So they drop Kiku. All right, probably going down to two. Very nice, because I can just get rid of this. But obviously I'm gonna attack him first with uh, Bond Clay. And then Bond Clay becomes like our little blocker. So we can mess around with that as well. But it pretty much is gonna come down to if they can what stall us out with any life triggers here. Because we're gonna work around that, then we're kind of chilling. Ooh, we get missile Sunday. Okay, so we'll attack um, six on five. See what they do with this. All right, decide to block. Interesting. I guess it makes sense if I can stall a little bit. But we get rid of a 2k there. So we'll just attack him here. So they decide to block that too. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll do this here to make sure I get rid of that leaves me with four um I may go kid and killer and then into uh, Sanji honestly because uh, they're only gonna be at the seven and so we'll attack him again here see what they do off in this so they take that okay drop kid and killer we'll attack him again seven on five this time And then use our ability, get rid of this, bring in Sanji. They only can get P7, so they can't drop any of their big cards. So, yeah, we can play around that. And then, obviously, depending on certain things, we can potentially block out here as well. So we can do that, and then bring in Sanji here. So Sanji, 6 and 6. So if they drop anything too big, free block. Especially, uh, they kind of have to go for Bon Clay here for attacking. Cause they're only at seven so they can't drop any of their big stuff all their main stuff is uh higher so they're going luffy so they do that um we'll do this and that so i guess we'll see if they sack this then 
Oh, they get rid of Kid and Killer? Okay. So they go for that there, leaves them one. Hmm. I am just gonna play slow. We'll just go for, let's see what they uh, what they got. Go for uh, the small game here, I guess. Get them down, force them into then halving and drop uh, something big. So put one on, attack him six and five. See what they do here. Cause I, based on how they were playing, I feel like a decent amount of their hand has to be bricks. Cause they were trying to stall us out with this stuff early versus uh, holding it for now. So, okay, they do that. Um, all right, well, let's put the one on here. Attack him here. Anyways. I'm trying to force them into a bunch of things here because uh, pretty much forcing them into having to drop your motto here and then okay they don't have your motto all right so they're going six on five all right nothing we can do about that only have eight though so katakuri so they sent themselves there interesting okay well, we're just gonna go slow then. So they drop Katakuri there. We know because we know Katakuri is here. All right. Well, let me just go five then. We'll see what they do. Put them in a an interesting spot. Okay. So they do that. I'm just gonna drop a uh, miss all Sunday then. Um. Hmm. We can build around this. Okay, let's just end it there then. They'll be at 10. Now if they drop anything, I can easily block. They can't pop anything if they drop Yamato. So, and then we'll be up to nine next turn, which will allow me to go queen potentially and play around things here. So we'll see what happens. Kept ourselves at the, we're still at two life as well. Cause now if they drop anything big, Bon Clay can rip them, which is good. But uh, then if they drop Ace or something, I can just block leader. And then I can just target Ace. So, cause we have Bon Clay. So never mind. they hit the Raigo into the Onami. Um. Okay. Interesting. So I have one. They do that. Okay, we get right back. So how do I want to go about this then? I can put two on attack here. Because we have kid. Now that I have Ray, we can save that stuff there. Alright, so let me put two on. We'll go five on five again here. To see what they are able to do because uh, the reason why I'm doing the low attacks is just to put the pressure on them because a lot of people think uh, in case that they think I'm holding kid and killer until like the very end here but again we know this is no counter so we can play around stuff there all right so they do that okay I can drop uh, this down. Let me go one, two, three. Get rid of that. We can bring in Ray. Get our cards there. Um, where I'm at three. Just leave them at one. I'm at one. We have a blocker. We have this. Pretty much just wearing them down, honestly. I think I'm just gonna deploy Gordon, and then we'll end our turn. Because I have a two K here. We have uh, these as well. We'll just leave them on the island since we know this is no counter. So Katakuri, they're sending Kid. Okay. And then attacking here. Alright. Fine with that. But now if we can draw something to remove this, we're looking good. Let's we'll see what happens here. Slowly uh, knocking them down. Cards in hand. Ooh, and we get Sanji. Okay, so that's pretty big. 
Let's drop this, use our card action, do that. We get two, oh, two kitten killers. Um. Hmm. All right, let me trash this queen then. Um. Do, all right, we'll do this. We have two back here, so we're kind of chilling. So they do that there. Okay, attack him again, five. All right, so they take that there, they trash. Uh... All right, we'll attack him five again. They block that, okay. Go kid and killer, seven. See what they do here? Then I'd get rid of both. They're thinking. So they can definitely block out. I think. Unless they're just the. Uh... Alright, well. A little stinky, but what can you do? One, two, three. Choose zero. We'll bring in Kitten Killer again. And then we'll attack him again, seven and five. Alright, there we go. So, never mind, it's right on the line there, the two. So, a little bit all out there. But it is what it is. Match up a thought their hesitation that they'd be able to block a seven. But worked out for us. The double back-to-back -back kid and killer. But even if they were able to, I could have... We had the blockers here to be able to audible as well if we needed to stall things out. But, yeah, there we go. Beating uh, NL. And, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next one.